Prime. It is advertising, marketing and brands that are of interest to you. You're watching The Right Show. Welcome to All About Ads Prime. On the show today, lots and lots of ads. Lots of behind the scenes of the making of ads. And of course, ad news on WhatsApp. The big story, IPL or the Indian Premier League 2017 sponsors have been locked in. We hear Sony is claiming that inventory is more or less full. But do you find that the buzz around what used to be such a celebrated event and almost like a launching pad for many, many breaking campaigns is missing? Let's find out. IPL ad abhi is baare mein dekha nahi is saal. Ab logon mein gradually jo craze hai wo kam hota ja raha hai. I was expecting more hoardings around and telemedia also some better advertisement. Is baar maine dekha ki is baar itna promotion nahi ho raha hai. The, the traditional uh, buzz that always was about IPL, about Indian players, about international players coming in, Pakistani players coming in, with IPL being stripped out of all of it. This time only on the TV that some of the ads on Sony, that's all the Sony channels. बहुत ज़्यादा था पहले कि होना चाहिए IPL, but इस बार इतना कुछ ज़्यादा है नहीं. IPL has outrun its popularity simply because there's too much cricket happening. Can you believe it? It's been a decade since the first IPL. However, this year we found out that fans across all age groups seem a little disappointed, and rightly so. After all, it's less than a week to go before the opening ceremony kick starts. However, there is little build up to the event except for on-air commercials. So, is IPL 10 on a sticky wicket? A study conducted by research agency Brickworks Media, a division of Chrome DM, claims that although respondents are aware of the new season, over 50% of these people cannot recall IPL 10 ads, and approximately 59% of respondents say there is no marketing buzz around IPL 10, stating that demonetization has badly impacted IPL's marketability. Demonetization has had an impact. on advertising which includes the buzz around IPL i think the buzz is there uh, but definitely the kind of buzz that we had about a year ago versus the kind of buzz we have now there is definitely a fall and it's fair to uh, to hold uh, demonetization as a cause uh, for for a drop in the buzz because at the end of the day this entire industry is advertising driven right so a deficit of cash uh, they tend to advertise less but that's a very temporary phenomena you know things are already looking up Denying any impact due to demonetization, then Suages Networks Ashish Basin instead blames it on the uncertainty due to BCCI's conflicts, which could be the major reason for the overall delay in promotions by brands. IPL is a very big brand in India. It's almost become an emotional brand. It's the tenth year. It's a well-established property. It's going to. It's done very well, and I'm sure it'll do extremely well. Uh, I personally feel that the buzz around it is slightly lesser, and I would attribute that to the fact that. uh but you know there been a lot of troubles around bcci uh, we are aware of all the court issues and the legal issues and the uh, whatever the politics it hasn't built up in the manner that it uh, usually does i'm hopeful that as the uh, tournament nears and as the tournament builds up i'm hoping that will get built up because that's very important to the fans the ipl 10 as usual with the as is the case with every ipl has had uncertainty of some kind of the other and this time it was the new dispensation at bcci it was also about you know the state association saying n number of things uh, so i think you know things were delayed uh, if you ask me is there a buzz on ipl 10 at this point of time not yet but if you ask me uh, is it going to happen over the next two weeks yeah i believe there's going to be a, a fair bit of buzz Official broadcaster Sony does admit to a slow start due to the impact of demonetization, but has 14 big ticket sponsors like Seat Tires, Yamaha Motors, and new brands like Polycab on board. So we starts our selling process in October, somewhere October, uh, which we started this year again, and you know we were we'd had the first two three rounds of conversation with people, and then demonetization hit us in November. Uh, so yes, November and December there was virtually no activity which happened. So advertisers weren't really spending money on impact uh, properties, but you know post mid January the way activity picked up, uh, you know, uh, surprised us all, and I think it's all for the better now. 
teams and individual franchisees too have been slow in building the property on the ground unlike international leagues that sustain fan building exercises all year round I agree with you that all teams are not equal in the promotion so you need to uh, understand that teams which have been there for a long time understand how important the fan is because it's just not about uh, the the two months uh, when the cricket happens it's also about how do you keep in, uh, engaged with the fans for the 10 months when IPL is not happening uh, so some teams have understood it better than the others but our rates are up 10 to 15% Exclusive digital partner for the IPL Hotstar is optimistic. I think it's for the first time that you have a, a platform at scale uh, that leverages the power of data and analytics on digital, but still brings the the true value of a very engaged audience. We are going to be the primary screen for uh, the 130 million Indians or so who are on digital. But is Hotstar likely to take away viewers from TV, at least in the major metros? People watch sports on a big screen. You know, you you can't see a three-hour game on your mobile device or any other device. Okay. Uh, well, you know what what actually Hotstar and other platforms do is that actually drive viewership to the larger larger screen. Even though partners and sponsors are bullish about an increase in viewership, industry experts, however, say it will be challenging. So I don't think viewership will be a problem, but to sustain that viewership for 40 days. Like